All right, so we are going to be doing an arthro of an ankle. And uh, it's going to have some swelling of both the foot uh, and the uh, ankle for a period of time there. And you don't mind this video being taken and putting on YouTube? You know? It looks like we have some swelling of the uh, metatarsal phalangeal joint. And uh, in comparison to his other foot, this is significantly swollen. He also has pain with any motion of the ankle here, too. Sir, you've never had gout before? No. Uh, you never have had joint swellings before, but no. sometime, sometime after Thanksgiving, you started to have ankle pain. The day and, right after. Yeah, the day right after Thanksgiving. And uh, ever since then, you've been having some uh, ongoing pain right. and swelling in the foot. Okay, Dr. McCain, you want to tell us about uh, where you're going to be doing the uh, needle sure. so, insertion? Sure. Um, so, for my landmarks, first thing I do is identify the medial malle malleolus, which is right here. And then you um, come out to your anterior tibial tendon, which is easier to find if you have the patient. Yeah. And we're going to, he's, uh, his. Uh, Metatarsal phalangeal joint is also involved, so anytime we cool. pick up his foot, he's going to protest in pain. So that space, let's see, the medial mile is right here, anterior tibial tendon is here, so the space is going to be right here. Okay. And then when we actually do the procedure, we're going to have a plantar flex. Just can you flatten your foot out a little bit more? And that's going to be a trick because he's very tender on that. Uh, and then this is this is the angle we're going to be going right into the joint space right there. Yeah, so his MTP joint's very tender, so that's going to be a little tricky to be moving that. So. Okay, so go ahead and prep. Sir, how old are you? Fifty-two. And you've never had any joint swelling until the day after Thanksgiving. True. Okay. What other medical problems do you have? Um, nothing that will be hurting me. Are you on any, are you on any medications? Not at this time. I just took some last night with this pain. Okay. And you don't have any infections anywhere else? You don't have any penile discharge or anything like that? No. Okay, there's my tendon, there's my medial mal. And here's the space right between. So you got a little you got a little bit of a divot right there, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm hmm So you're gonna numb that up. Okay, you're gonna feel well, a little bit. You know elastic? what? Um, I got the vapor coolant back there. Let me just grab Spray. that. There we go. Good. I think you're close. Yep. Alright. First I'm gonna numb up a little skin wheel here. Aspirate. Some lemon medicine, sweetie. You can use it as kind of a finer needle for you, too. So, in other words, as you're numbing them up, you're going in saying, Where's that joint space? Mm -hmm. Injecting. Yeah, you're, you're finding that joint speed. Yeah. It's stinging, it's gonna numb it up. So you hold real still, don't move your foot. Hold your foot still. His whole foot's very painful to him. Okay, that's about four okay, cc's. That's plenty. I think that's plenty. That's plenty. Okay, so now we need to aspirate. There's my tendon. Okay. I'm gonna go in where we're injected with my local. And you're putting a little downward traction, is that true? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's true now. Okay. We're not gonna get a whole lot of fluid out of this, but we'll Okay, I feel a little bone there, so I'm gonna redirect. Yeah. Okay, you got it, you got okay. it. You got fluid coming back. There you go. Okay. You may you may have to go in deeper. Mm. Try to redirect again. Yeah. 
That's coming up against something. So there's not going to be a huge amount of fluid she's going to get, but... I'd like to get more than that. I don't know if I can now. No, but I... There you go, well, that was... No, I think some air. Yeah. Well... I think we're going to have to be happy with that, but... Is it okay. enough for a sample? Yep, oh, absolutely, absolutely. We got a couple extra red cells in there because we were trying to redirect a needle, but um, that should be enough to get our cultures and uh, gram stain and cell count.